This intercession is taking place in the fishing village of Macduff on the northeast coast of Scotland. And the first scripture is taken from Exodus chapter 15 and the 11th verse. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders? And from 1 Peter chapter 1 and the 13th verse. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and, and hope to the end, for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. And keeping in mind the second coming of the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. That is something which would have been very much emphasized and preached upon in days gone by, whether it be here in the fishing villages or in other parts of the United Kingdom. Father, Thy Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, is exalted at Thy right hand, having all authority in heaven and upon earth. And His majesty and His glory is there to be seen with those who are with Him in the glory already. The angels and the archangels worship in him. And those whose robes have been washed through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Those whose, whose robes are white and they are spotless. And are worshipping already around thy throne. Out of every kindred, tribe and nation. And they would have known that during their lifetime and would have received thy word and been waiting expectantly either for thy return at thy second coming or when you came to take them individually to thyself. But Father, what of these days and the preaching and teaching of thy word? What has happened to all that emphasis on being prepared? Being prepared for the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lives having been transformed by thy grace. Lives having received the Lord Jesus Christ into their hearts. And that looking to go on further with God, growing in grace and the knowledge and love of God in Christ Jesus, feeding upon thy holy word, and day by day their lives being living sacrifices, holy and acceptable unto thyself, living in the light that the Lord Jesus Christ could return at any moment and having that desire to hear his voice well done thou good and faithful servant what is these days where is that going on where is that growing in grace where is that preaching and teaching of thy word of sanctification of life of holiness of life of the very life of the Lord Jesus Christ becoming holy the life of the one whom he is coming to live and becoming more and more like into the likeness of the Lord Jesus Christ day by day. I call upon thee for a return to the doctrine 
of preaching and teaching the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is part of Holy Scripture, but so neglected, as though there has been the blindness, as though it no longer is expected that the Lord Jesus Christ will return, and no longer that there is to be ready for his return, because Thy word is so clear. Even the Lord Jesus Christ made emphasis upon hell. And for those who did not accept the kingdom of God through being born again of the Spirit of God and being washed and cleansed through the atoning blood of thy Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, would find themselves in the torments, the fires of hell itself. That place where the devil and his angels are, and even those devils who were in, in legion. They did not want to go to hell. They wanted to go into the swine instead. So dreadful a place was hell seen by the devils themselves. So it is asking thee so clearly in thy throne room and you hearing on thy throne this request for a return to the preaching and teaching of the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and being prepared for that day that he shall return. For this is asked, and it is done, for thy glory and thy glory alone. For it is asked through the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and through the power of his atoning blood and resurrection, that you shall be glorified through the Son. Amen. <laughs>